What's going on, my boys? Welcome back to another episode of Dank Links. We got to talk right now. Now, listen, I am sorry. I apologize for not getting back with you boys. I showed you that thing about the side chick deck. The side chicks. The side chicks. It's still coming. Do not worry. I've been going back and forth here. I can't build this deck for you boys because I need to get the card from the card trader and I only got one overdrive. It works amazing, but you need three overdrives. But I'm here to show you something else, boys, that I found while playing the psychic deck and training and making it as good as I possibly can. I created this amazing budget deck. This deck has so much synergy, it's insane. This is an actual burn deck and it all started off with me playing it with Weevil. I have created so many versions to this deck. I have a Weevil version to this deck. I have a, um, just a straight up burn. I got a beat down version, a handless combo. It's insane. This deck is so crazy, but this is the most optimal build. I have mastered it. This is it. This is the perfect build. And I've been destroying people since I finally figured it out. So I'm gonna explain the synergy to you and you're gonna go insane. So before I show you the replays, let's talk about the synergy. Let's talk about the turn plays, okay? Let's just talk about how these turns go. So turn one, this is what you do. Normally, you're gonna open up with a hand with either this guy, that guy, that guy. Normally, you need any of those three. Basically, you're using this card called Kick Fire to hit them with a ton of damage for each fire monster destroyed. But that's not all. It's insane how this deck works, okay? So on the first turn, you're gonna normal summon Pokey Draco, okay? I know you're looking at it like this This, this little dragon beast is so kawaii. Yes, it is kawaii, they soon not make. But listen, this card says when it's normal summon, you can add another one of them to your hand. You normal summon this card from your hand. You get the plus one. You special summon Goki, the Pyre of Malice, to the field. When you summon Goki to the field, his effect says destroy a fire monster when you special summon him. Use his ability to destroy your attack position, Pokey Draco. So you basically just, just normal summon this, basically, is what you did. First turn, a 2200 beat stick. And if you activate a kick fire, you have one token on this, right? Now, with his attack being at 22, obviously he can beat over anything, except for Swift Gaia. And if anyone plays order to charge in your next turn, an additional token of kick fire, insanity. But on your next turn, because they won't kill you, if for some reason this doesn't be, this isn't destroyed, It'll create a token during the standby phase. And, and this card can dis sacrifice a fire monster to increase his attack by 500. So it can go from 22 to 27 to 32 if you do two monsters in the first turn. This little monster here can go to 3200. Insane. And you can summon it for free, right? So when you do this, right, and let's say you've done this entire combo and you've got this guy out. And you've got two on here or you got one on here. On your next turn, because you put one of these in your hand, you still have another one. You normal summon him again, going for your third one. When you get the third one, now you can either special summon this guy and destroy two fire monsters and put that, so that's 3,000 on your, on your second turn, okay? <laughs> Not counting battle damage, this is insanity. I can't talk about this anymore. I have to show you. This is this deck is insane. It's incredible. And I just have to show you some replays and we're going to do some live duels right after this. I was going to I was going to bring you boys the psychic deck, but basically what happened was I was playing this deck and I and I've unleashed its true potential. Because the how I found out about this deck while I was playing the psychic deck on ranked at silver 1, this random guy just, he was playing Blazing and Pachis. He was just summoning Blazing and Pachis. He summons the Blazing and Pachi on me, and then he gets rid of Blazing and Pachi to summon 
the Goki. And then he flipped over kick fire, got a token and, and popped it for a thousand. And I thought that was cool. But then I was thinking, I think there's a whole deck here. I think there has to be a full deck. And then I started to look into the cards and I realized this deck has amazing, perfect synergy. But watch this too, because it's a very technical deck and it has, so you have to play with this deck with the toggle set to on to play amazing enemy controller plays. So watch this enemy controller play I do on this guy. This guy's playing Paradox Brothers. This is absolutely insane. This, this duel here, told me said this is ready for a video. This, I was like, this deck is ready for a video. I was gonna just go to King of Games with it, but then the day got away from me. So now it's time. You have to experience this. All right, let's go. All right, he went first. Three star demotion. Dank magician. Supremacy berry. Set a card. Okay. All right, so first turn, you summon the Goki. I mean, not the Goki, you summon the Pokey. Summon the Pokey so you can get the Goki, all right? Pokey, Goki. This is the free Goki now. Pop the Pokey, summon the Goki, but if your toggle is set to on, you can chain enemy controller to Goki's effect, sacking off the Pokey to take the dank magician and guess what happens next goddamn game time because i don't know like like if he doesn't have vigilance it's over because he didn't get a chance to change he's done take your 22 take your 25 you're dead now we're not even talking about kick fire combos but that right there was like this deck is fucking ready it's goddamn ready all right now i'm gonna show you this weevil version because I did have a Weevil version and this is how this deck was built. And after I show you this, we're just gonna duel. Because I found out as I was playing this Weevil version, it was getting better and better and better. But then I realized that you don't need Weevil. Weevil was really good with this deck actually because that extra thousand damage from the Parasite is amazing. But I prefer Restart. So I prefer Restart because hands like this could happen. But the Weevil version was like this. So watch this. Playing one of them dank Joeys. We're gonna speed this one up. So I was also playing a masks in here and everything. So he's playing that um, that guns blazing patented uh, desert twister deck. All right, so this hand, this is an example of a horrible hand. Like this is the worst hand I've ever had in this. Well, actually no, I think I still got the recording of the worst hand I ever had and the best hand. All right, so look at this. Here we go, 100 points. Play the mask. Pokey. Search Pokey. Goki. Goki. Pokey. Take your 1750, boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. I just got that kick fire. Goki. There's the token. Set. Set. Go. Here we go. Last gamble. Now this is where it gets real dank. 1650 down to 100. Plays Storm. Destroys all the cards. Activates enemy controller. Makes a misplay. He should have changed that to attack mode. But instead, he wants to get sexy. And he, so he takes my monster from me. Because he's never seen a Goki before. So he wants to control one for himself. To hold his own. Desert Twister here. Pops the mask. Attack. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> Lady Flames. <laughs> now that's the Weevil deck, and this was the worst hand that I've ever received in the Weevil deck. But this, this is that's that was the Weevil version. Okay, that was a really bad example, but it still won. So let's get in here. I just literally discovered this two duels ago. Those two wins is from this version of this deck. This is absolutely insane. And I'm so glad that I can bring this to you boys because all, most of this deck is farm stuff, commons and rares and supers. Well, I mean, uh, normals and rares. 
So it's probably one of those uh, what you want to do? That's two thousand. I don't remember if I was going first or second. Mm. I'm gonna restart it. I prefer Goki over this guy. If you mm. decide, I didn't get Goki, but I'll probably get Goki next turn. If we run three of them boys. But this hand's actually better because I got some protection. Security orb and kick fire. All right. Security orbs are in here basically for uh, matchups against my plan is that, you know, I used to play Burning Land in here, but I don't do that anymore. But when I was playing against my, I found out like Harpy's Hunting Ground definitely can hinder you sometimes because there's been games where I've lost where if only, if only I had uh, killed that Harpy when he Harpy Hunting Ground my back row, I would have won. But you know, it is what it is. All right, let's go. I draw. Another flaming him. I mean, flaming ruler. All right. And he's probably grave keepers too. All right. Let's start thinning out the deck. I, I, activate my monsters effect. I only do this with Pokey if I at least got a security orb down. It normally base out a monster so they can change the defense so I can attack it and then take away their enemy controller or or something in the back row that's that could stop my attack because once Goki and uh, and and the, and, the and the Colossus start coming out you need to activate uh, spell what will he choose take that security orb ooh daddy ha Take that. Eh. Bang. Yes. Now this deck also is overpowered with by Gokis. Gotta draw a Goki though. <laughs> or that 2600 fire monster, gotta draw that too. Ooh, actually, let's see. That's 3800. Yeah, that's only 38. Hmm. Hmm. I'm debating should I do it or not. I think I will. Now, I summon a I activate my monster's effect. So all we gotta do is draw a Colossus. So I really just need to thin out the deck is what I'm trying to do. A quick play spell. Gotta get to that Colossus. Well, actually, no, not the Colossus. Now, now we need some different options. <laughs> oh, actually, no. We need a kick fire. We need a kick fire, and then we need a uh, a Colossus. We need a kick fire and a Colossus as well. We need. All right, kick fire into Colossus. Come on, kick fire into Colossus. Goki. Okay. If I bring out Goki, it's not gonna get a chance to do the token thing. All right. All right. All I need to do is get. Uh, hmm. It's either if I get kick fire. Dang, he got a. Oh, Giffrey. All right. That's not bad. My god. Ah, <laughs> uh, I didn't get a Colossus. I run three of them boys. All right, well. Oh well, that's how it goes. You know you know how your boy goes. He, he plays the decks. He talks about how good they are. He turns the camera on, then he takes a fistful of L. But I'm not gonna give up right now. <laughs> I'll give up later. But before I give up, I'm gonna play this dank deck. And maybe I should have restart that hand as well. In hindsight. Or maybe, yeah, or should have kept it. Um, restart. 
I don't see why I'm not drawing them kick fires turn one. Give me one. There we go. All right, there we go. Now, that's the hot two Gs. If he calls on his star and summons a beast, then I can take him out. Just one dude. Oh no, he'll do it next turn, so I can take him out. It's my turn. I draw. Alright, here we go. Set this kick fire. Uh, whatever that is, it's probably like a hang hang or something stupid. Um, so I'm gonna attack the shit out of it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, they don't. These the guys who play these three-star demotion decks, if they set in something, it's it's normally some shenanigans. So so this guy's officially out of here. Ooh, maybe I'm out of here. Depending on what these two things is. Nani? Well, okay, yeah, it makes sense actually. Ooh, shit. Shit. Fuck up. Fuck up, please. <laughs> Fuck up, please. <laughs> Fuck up, please. Oh, no, I don't want to chain. Okay, I got to chain it, but please don't kill it. Oh, my God. Please don't kill it. Please don't. Woo! Let's go, baby. Time to take you down. <laughs> oh. Pokey's going to send you to the grave. Get ready to go to that pokey dragon grave. <laughs> Not enough, my boy. Draw. Get ready for 3D demolition. <laughs> pokey the beast. Yes. Pokey Draco. Go get the boy. Colossus. The Mega Beast. <laughs> yes. Nani? Oh, I guess he got to use it. Good for you. Good for you. Too bad it doesn't matter. I always like to turn this to on. When I get to this part, <laughs> I don't want anything fucking this up. Taking you down, boy. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know why I was, why I was sitting back trying to make this video like, like uh, I don't know why I was sitting back like trying to make this deck so perfect for you guys before I put it up but this this is why because it's an amazing deck and especially if once we get the flame veils going sometimes you get a flame veil going it's insane the reason why I put in those um, flame rulers you know the two tribute substitute guys okay against my this is a, this is a good test this is a good uh, example to show you we definitely can take down Mai's it just comes it's out to, you know, that open hand, which is why we use a restart. Ooh, actually, yeah, I'm keeping this. This is game. This is game right here. If, um, <laughs> this is game, actually. Um, if I draw a fire monster and survive and she doesn't summon Harpy Lady, she'll die. This is a, this is the one ton kiddo. One ton. One time, kid, it is. Da da. Uh, monster card. It's actually the best monster card. All right. So, actually, no. Pokey would have been a little better. So I can't set it. I just gotta set. 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 If she summons a harpy lady and doesn't hit security orb, she will not die. But if she misses, she's finished. Or if she doesn't have it, she's done. Or if, if or if she doesn't kill me, she's done. Alright. Alright. Come on, bitch. Pick the wrong one. Pick the wrong one. Woo! You picked the wrong one! Let's go! Oh! 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 
You picked the wrong card, so you gotta go to the graveyard. You ain't gonna play no elegant egotist on me, girl. All right, it's time. Woo, it's time, boys. Get ready to see some super hot fire. Woo, you about to see... You about to have... <laughs> Pokey, please. Please show up, Pokey. We need you, Pokey. 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 Come to me, Pokey. Please. Mai, don't you run away. We need this. We need this for this video, Mai. We need this W. Everyone needs to see the power. Please, Mai. 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 Hurry up and choose a door. Hurry up and choose a door. Come on. Come on. Come on. I about to say, you can't be that salty. Let's battle. Huh. <laughs> And she guess she was that salty. Looking at that elegant egotist like, fuck! <laughs> You're finished! <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my, you have no idea what is in store. I'm taking you down. Go in 3D, my boy. Flame Veil Dragon Off! Woo, look how cool he look! <laughs> and now I summon the boy, Bonfire Colossus! Go, Colossus! Destroy Dragon Off! And rid the field of yourself! Curse you, mine! You've made me destroy my own beach! You'll pay for that! Hurry up and choose a door! You're finished! Ah! <laughs> 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 Sit back and watch it, boys! Mm. Over. Woo! Let's go! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Get in here, boys, please. Everybody, I need to see this in King of Games all week. Please! Oh my god, I'm on my way to King of Games with this voice. Oh my god, all the life points was rendered. <laughs> Oh, boy, just keep it dank.